Being sick is the worst. After spending days and days in bed with a fever, nothing quite beats washing your comforter, actually making your bed. Another thing I know that lifts my spirits are essential oils. So a refreshing smell like bergamot, jasmine, it gives me sort of a new start to the day rather than just a continuation of the one that came before. When bouncing back from a sick day or days, I like to pick something comfortable that gives me the freedom to move around and not feel constrained by my clothing. So what I did is I picked out a loose white tennis skirt and a crop tank in this really breezy, fun pattern that felt sophisticated, but loungy enough to just knock out tasks at now, home. Now listen, we tend to feel the healthiest when we're at our most confident, and I don't think that's a coincidence. So for me, this looks like washing my hair, tossing it in a topsy-turvy. Look it up, I learned this from one of the early 90s girls. And it lets me air out my neck to keep cool and refreshed. Giving yourself the space to breathe and heal and feel almost overly clean, but not piling on stuff like makeup and heat tools is really essential for getting through a reset day like this was for me. I've been hooked on Good Molecules Discoloration Serum, which they graciously sent me for free. And no joke, it's the best PR package I've received in years. I'm gonna refill my containers next week to make sure I don't run out. <clears throat> Still getting better from being sick. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. <sighs> Decided to change into the other tank top and I'm gonna be working out. I might as well just do it in the shirt that's already going in the laundry, right? Like why dirty two pieces of clothing? After a longer than expected walk and many, many, many layers of sunscreen, I let myself lounge like a true southerner with some iced tea on the patio. I listened to a few of my favorite commentary channels and shut my eyes while spice chilled nice. conveniently close to me, preferring to sunbathe a little more than I usually do. I got back from a pretty lengthy walk around noon and the last two hours I've done a whole lot of nothing. I scrolled on TikTok, listened to music, kind of just chilled out. I mean, it wasn't the worst use of my time, but I've been procrastinating on showering and continuing on with my day. So I'm gonna put on the same tank top I had earlier just because I think it's very cute. Tank top, bralette, whatever you want to call it. And my shorts, which like folding them into little packets. Like I got these on Amazon a while back. They are linked on my storefront if you are interested, but they're very similar to the Lululemon ones, which I like. Nice and soft and buttery. Ugh, I love it. Okay, let's go shower. One of my biggest goals in 2022 was making more content and making content consistently. When I made that goal, I didn't really take into consideration that between work, streaming, editing videos, very tedious and it requires a lot of time in front of the computer. Now, I've taken care of other parts of my well-being, for example, giving my eyes a break. I got these blue light glasses, which you see me wearing all the time, but my wrists have gone to hell. They're in terrible shape. So I have two little things that I ordered that should be making this easier. The first of which is a new ergonomic mouse. And of course I had to get it in pink because you know, I'm a girly girl. I love my pink. I love my sparkles. I got the small medium size. I feel like there's gonna be as much of a learning curve to it as I originally thought there might. That, that's what I was worried about. I've had a mouse in my hand since I was a baby and I'm very used to certain ways of having my controller. I, I don't think this is gonna be my gaming mouse per se, but it feels pretty comfortable. I can see it being good for some more chill games like when I'm streaming The Sims or starting. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. So maybe I can get away with just tearing this thing. So this is an SD card reader. And this is so that I do not need to have my typical editing system, which currently looks like this. <laughs> you see how digital minimalism can be a good thing sometimes? Apple, I love you. I will buy almost anything you give me. We just want to use Final Cut Pro, man. <laughs> cap away because it is covered in bug bites and bruises. So I got a little bit of video editing work done. I have some proxies running right now, which are basically these mini files that you can use to edit your projects 
faster. So I find them incredibly helpful, especially when I'm doing my gaming content because those videos often have two plus hours of footage. So the smaller I can make them to edit, the easier it is on my computer and on my sanity. And while those are running, I've been doing a little bit of productive work with my strategy. I do wanna do a whole video about it at some point, but I requested a social media audit for the first time ever, paid for it. It was definitely pricey, but I feel like it was worth it at the end of the day. Figuring out how to optimize my profile. And I kind of figured that there would be, you know, some critiques about it in this format because I didn't have a niche. So I didn't want to like lock myself into something on my bio that wasn't what I was actually doing at the time. And what I'm also doing is figuring out a few content pillars. It's already almost 8 p.m. So I do want to start slowing down my evening in like the next hour or so, but I feel like I can still get a little bit more done. And I'm pretty revved up reading that I'm on the right track with a lot of things. So I go do that. And I'll talk to you all in a little bit. Let's get back to some editing, shall we? I went offline in the evening to play The Sims with my brother for a few hours, prepared dinner with my mom, and now I'm making my favorite tea flavor, which is chamomile, and I'm taking my daily vitamins. Well, 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 we did it, you guys. We made it to Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday, new week at work, and I feel like this was a pretty solid reset. I'm personally not the type of person to take bad things happening as a sign from the universe. I don't think that it goes out to harm us actively, but I do think that there is some good in me having gotten sick this past week. Sure, sitting and reflecting in bed is not what I wanted to do, but ultimately it was what I needed to do. Of course, for my immune system to fight back, get my body back in shape, it also gave me a chance to reconnect with my content a little bit. And it feels incredibly good. I feel a way that I haven't felt in months. Now that I have some content pillars to try out, see if they work for a few months, something to run my strategy with. It feels good to have a strategy, to have some goals set out. Despite talking about goals so much, I'm not a very hardcore goal setting person. For example, I know a lot of content creators will set like quarterly financial goals and I think it's something I would like to try at some point but it's really more about working towards things that create an environment that I am proud to be in. So if posting consistently is what my ideal version of myself would do, what systems can I put into place to achieve that? If my dream self is somebody who is very active and very fit, what are some fun active things I can add to my routine? You know, hopefully you kind of get the gist for what I'm saying here. But the point is I had a lot of time to reflect this past week and I think this Sunday reset was really what I needed. Just put the final lock in on this week, get me back to my proud self, get me back to my productive self, and really get me back on track for next week. With all of those very wordy words in mind, I'm gonna finish up my chamomile tea here. A Duolingo has been neglected the whole day, so I'm gonna do my Duolingo lesson really quick. We'll get ready for bed, yeah. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I took Spanish every single year of high school. I secretly really enjoy learning languages, even if I'm not great at it. Duolingo has been a surprisingly good addition to my life, and I find myself swapping it for social media even, because the dopamine of keeping up a streak or competing in a tournament has become higher than the feeling of scrolling past one more photo on Instagram. Okay, you guys. Just kidding. I have one more thing to do today. <laughs> I forgot to put this video in my YouTube tracker, so I figured let's just do it together and I can show you guys how that process looks. First things first, we're gonna start out in our content calendar. Now, this is kind of noisy, but this is what my YouTube entries look like. The title is Under 50 Characters, How to Reset Your Productivity After Being Sick. The status is in edit mode because I'm almost done filming it. Platform is YouTube. The pillar is actually under two categories. This one falls under productivity and lifestyle. But as you'll see, I'm kind of figuring out my niches, but productivity, content creation, fashion, lifestyle, and career, kind of a grab bucket. 
I pick the content style, which this one is a vlog, but sometimes my videos are podcast or chatty. So I'd like to post this on Wednesday, which gives me one full day to create, which I know isn't a lot, but here. And then TikTok and Instagram, I can ignore because those are only for my vertical videos and recycle is for content that I can reuse on other platforms. So then I have my script, resources, and all this other good stuff, but we don't really need it right now. So now we can actually go get ready for bed because I'm tired. My tea is getting cold. Don't talk to me until I've had my tea. Uh. <laughs> my room was borderline chaotic when it got time to settle down for bed. So to fight back, I set a timer for five minutes and this helped me feel a little bit more relaxed while my melatonin was doing the hard work of putting me to sleep. So for my evening skincare, I like to exfoliate gently with my Pacific Acne Wash. I use a brush because my hands just don't do it sometimes. I used the solid clarifying toner all over my face right after that. And then I moved into an overnight exfoliant treatment. This is what works for my skin. Exfoliating is also super important because you're getting rid of that dead skin, you're getting rid of that makeup, and you're not trapping stuff in when you're trying to make the products work for you. Journaling has become a fantastic outlet to feel more alert, and I like to pretend that my notebook is a text conversation with a friend. I use it to rant, rave, celebrate ups and downs of the day, and some days are just going to be a little bit more negative as a result of my feelings, but I do find that regardless, this helps me feel more optimistic. It's like getting those negative thoughts out there and it gives me the ability to focus on maybe one or two bigger things that I actually felt grateful for. This is so soothing and it turns off unwanted thoughts as I'm falling asleep which I honestly love the most. All right beautiful people that is it for today. Thank you for joining me on this fantastic Sunday reset. Take some melatonin if you're getting to bed soon and feel your best today. Love you lovelies. Mwah.